Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss about Block Observer. Block Observer is used to track the triggered events and the generated state. This is the same counter app project which we have created earlier. Now here in this counter block, I will override some methods to observe this counter block. First of all, I will override this onChange method. This onChange method will be called whenever a new state is emitted. Now let me write the code here. Let me write some print statement. I am using print after that change dot it will provide the current state and with this current state I can access the count property count dot to string. Similarly, it will give us the next state as well. So, here I will call next state. Now, let me save this. Let me open the debug console and now if I click here on plus, then you can see it is printing the current state which is 0 and the next state which is 1. So, on change will be called whenever a new state is emitted. Next, we have on transition. So, let me overwrite the on transition. Now, this on transition is called whenever a new event is added and a new state is emitted. It is always called before the block state has been updated. Now, let me print some statement here. Print and here I can write transition dot event we are getting event we are getting current state we are getting next state but here i am directly printing transition dot to string now let me save this and let me open the debug console let me clear it and if i click on this plus then you can see first of all this transition is called and in the transition we are getting the current state we are getting the event we are getting the next state and after that this on change is called this means here we can say first of all the on transition method will be called and after that the on change method will be called similarly if we want to track any error then we can override the on error method in the on error method again we can print some statement like print error dot to a string so, whenever any error will occur at that time this on error method will be called and we have one more method which is on event and this on event will be called whenever a new event is added. So, let me print here print event dot to a string. Now, let me save this. Let me clear the console and if I click on this plus then you can see first of all this instance of counter increment event then transition then 0 1. This means we can say the flow will be like this first of all on event will be called after that on transition will be called then on change will be called and then on error will be called. Now here we are observing the block locally. So, if we have created suppose 4 or 5 blocks then we can write these or we can override these methods in each and individual block. So, those type of observer will be called as the local observer. But suppose my requirement is that I want to track all the blocks which has been created in the application. Then we need to create the global block and to create the global block first of all what I will do is that let me comment these codes and inside the leaf folder I will create a new file and let me give the name as global block observer dot dot and here I will create a class global block observer which will extend the block observer class and now here we can override the same methods that is on change after that we have on event then we have on transition then we have on error the same methods right and here also we can write like print 
now this on change here it is taking block base now with the help of this block base we can identify whether it is a block or it is a qubit this means here we can check block is qubit copy paste it here and here i can write block is block so if it is qubit then it will return true and if it is block then it will return true otherwise it will return false now this global block observer which i have created here it will work if we go to main dot dot and inside this main function here we need to write block dot observer and after that we need to specify the observer which we have created that is global block observer now if i save this okay now it is running now if i click on plus then you can see it is printing false and after that it is printing true why because in this global block observer in the on change first of all we have written block is qubit but this counter block which we have created it is not a qubit that's why it is returning false since it is a block it is returning true similarly we can override and uh, use the methods like on event on transition and on error this is how we can use block observer in our flutter block or qubit application that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching